Time passed very quickly as we prepared for the next day. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting the, the, the day to change. Okay, but okay, it's, it's Sunday now. Yeah, uh, okay. So we basically like worked the whole day yesterday and all that. Okay, so Sunday we wake up and it's a free day, but I guess maybe uh, we're going out or something. I opened my eyes to the ringing of the alarm clock. I checked the clock. It's 10 a.m. Let me guess. <laughs> It was still very early in the morning, but we were set to meet very early as well. Ah, I was expecting that, yeah? We were expected to meet. Probably to buy some resources and all that, some materials, I think, more materials, no? Yeah, but okay, it's not, <laughs> it's not 10 a.m. <laughs> I didn't feel particularly refreshed, so I snoozed a little in the sheets. My mind began to recede. Hey, don't do, don't do soft now. My cell phone rang. I didn't have to look at the screen to know who it was. Yeah, we all know who. But we're going out, so that mean that means we get to see all the girls in their casual outfits. Yes, I can't want, I, I can't wait to see Kaho, uh, Honoka, and yeah, and Natsu's casual outfits. Yeah, we we'll love to see the outfits. First time ever. Yes, yes. Arisa, what's up? Well, I'm just trying to snooze, you know. Oh yeah, I just I just asked asked uh, one of my com commenters, you know, uh, in the previous episode about uh, whether how many choices there are in the game, you know, and there are only like two choices. So basically, I've already made both choices. But uh, the common route isn't yet over. It the common route will only end uh, after max five. Well, yeah, we only we only end after max five. Then they have one more meeting. Then that's when the roots will start to branch out into the different heroine roots. So okay, good to know. So now we're still in the common route, yes. She's psychic. Well, I mean she already knows your behavior. I'm not. Oh Natsu is outside too, so we get to see Natsu in her cash outfit first. Well uh, yeah yeah I mean I mean aside from Arisa that is we all know uh, Arisa always dresses in that attire. It's really sexy. Yes. <laughs> you guys are up early. Uh, okay. They just seem to be 10 minutes early to me. <laughs> you didn't want to wake me up? What? Why, why not? It's a Sunday, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, every day you always budget into my house, so. What what's wrong with budging in right now? Not well. I mean, even if there's no school today, doesn't mean you can't budge in. Maybe a normal person wouldn't, but I can trust that coming from you. Are you uh, are you saying you don't want to dis disturb my my sister and all that? <laughs> Apparently, Ar Arisa had some manner of common sense just for today. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is a house. Oh, oh, but it's a single floor house. I just remember. Yeah, this is a single story house. It's not a double story house. If it's, if it's a double story house, then I would be wondering, like, don't tell me you're gonna like climb the tree and then climbing through my window from the tree. <laughs> Arisa's common sense was always dangerously close to madness. I'll go get ready now. See you in bed. I hung up before she could respond and got ready to go to school. Yeah, I remember it's a sing yeah, it's it's a single story house, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah, it's a single story house. So oh You know, you know Gotta gotta really love <laughs> the girls' outfits, casual outfits. I, I mean really kudos to Chu Chubersoft, you know? They draw really good casual outfits. <laughs> but look at look at Natsu, man. It's like I mean, <laughs> there, there's something that, you know, about her, her outfit that really accentuates the curves, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, hers is even more like, really accentuates more of the curves than, than, than uh, Arisa. But, well, Arisa has the Titsu, you know, yeah, popping. I mean, Natsu also has kind of the Titsu popping, but her, you can see her cleavage actually, you know? Like, like here, here, ah. <laughs> if I'm not, man, Arisa is sexy, hey, both are sexy, okay? Yeah, Natsu is like 
it's like she's kind of like wearing a still wearing her pajamas or something like that. But then there's this this purple sweater. It's in, it's an interesting sweater because I've never seen this kind of sweater before. Uh, uh you know, a uh, shoulderless sweater. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it it's kind of unique, I would say. But yeah, I like I I mean something about her outfit definitely accentuates her curves. Yes, yeah, but. Of course, Arisa's Titsu is always like, oh, popping out like that. <laughs> Even more, yes. Well, I like yours, obvious, your outfit as well. Yes, I love both of your outfits. Good job. So far, so good. Now we're waiting for Kaho and no, Honoka. I think Honoka is also probably going to dress a bit provocatively. I don't know about Kaho though. Kaho may be Mao. Yeah, but we'll see. Arisa and Natsu turned to me when I left the house. Okay, one more look. Yes, alright. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's, let's just take another look. Hmm. Yeah, alright. I mean, well, it's also summer, so I guess they're wearing like this. And it's the, they live in the tropical island. I mean, this is like... It's like... it's, Well, it's referenced from Okinawa. So, and you know, Okinawa is like the the warmest place in in Japan. Like, even if the winter time isn't really that cold, so to speak. Like, I think about 10 degrees or at most like that, you know? Yeah, so but yeah, so but summer is like extremely hot, so you know I guess it makes sense that they they dress like these casual outfits and all. Good morning, Ohio. Ah, they were both wearing casual clothes. Oh, da it's a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, will you be fine wearing that? Um well it's not like we're going to school, right, are we? <laughs> uh but I mean now then you now then you say will you be fine wearing that? <laughs> I mean you see Arisa is really wearing like this and Natsu as well. Oh. So we are going to school, okay. And and the school doesn't care that uh, we are going like this, you no know, wearing like this, you no. Know? Casual, very very casual and flimsy and <laughs> what you call that term? Uh yeah, flimsy and uh but I forgot the term, you know, like, not, 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 uh, ah, uh, where, I can't remember the term, but it's like, you know, when you wear bare scantily, scantily clad, <laughs> yes, yes, something like that, yes, uh, and, well, uh, okay, but the school doesn't care, and since it's no lessons on Sunday, also school doesn't care, okay, sure, so we're going to the school, that's pretty rare, well, this is a great school, we have the freedom, how many schools had a dress code even for club activities? Oh. She wanted to abolish. I mean, he wanted to abolish school uniforms entirely. So wanted. So he basically wanted to make the school like a like a university, basically. Okay, makes sense. But you two are dressed quite provo provocatively, so. <laughs> so why are we wearing school uniforms then? I guess society. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if you wear like this and you create rockets, it'd be dangerous, you know, security reasons. Because, of course, you prioritize rockets. Alright, and then we'll meet Honoka and Kaho on the way. Right, sorry. Oh, we're, we're, we're gone straight to school, okay. We dropped our things off in the club room and Natsu and I changed it to our bio suits. Oh, now we also get to see them in their bio suits. We went to the powder manufacturing plant afterward. Oh. Propellant is 80 to 90% of the rocket's mass, right? Oh, first time we're in the... What was this plant again? Uh, powder manufacturing plant. Okay. And why are you not still not wearing bio suit, Arisa? Well... I mean, the last time we didn't get to see Arisa in a bio suit, right? Or rather, it's more like she didn't have her own. But why? <laughs> okay, uh, Natsu in a bio suit. So if the rocket we're building here is about 5 meters, then the propeller must be like 4 meters tall. Oh, right! I forgot one thing. Yeah, uh, I know why Konoka and uh, Kaho aren't here. Because they are the other team, remember? Like, previously, there was like... Uh, Arisa asked, you know, asked uh, uh, Otoya whether he wanted to join their team, you know, or join Kaho 
and Honoka team. I think if I remember correctly, Kaho and Honoka are doing something. To, yeah, ha handling CP, uh, CPR, uh, CFRP. Yes, CFRP. Yeah. So, so if I had chosen you no know, Kaho's route or Honoka's route, I would be going to their team. Then I'll get to see their casual outfits. But oh well, I guess we don't get to see their casual outfits for now. Yeah, it's fine. That's always yeah. The next time. Can the three of us really make such an enormous block? Have I read this way? So if the, if the rocket we're building here is about 5 meters, then the propellant must be like 4 meters tall. Okay. So can we, we can we really make such an enormous block? Can we? What? Why thank you, I'm getting smarter. Soon I'll be Von Braun. I'll be an intelligent guy, a genius. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the no for the narration, Natsu. Come on, don't be a two day right now. Baka. <laughs> uh, oh, only a tsundere will say Baka. So, you're gonna ignore my question and just insult me? Alright, automated machinery, that's good. That's great. Anything to do with rockets are your friends. Ah, Natsu. What about us? <laughs> are we your friends? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it's getting more and more hilarious whenever she calls all these all these parts, uh, uh, rocket parts, a, a friends. What's that supposed to mean? You know, I'm not even following what they're saying. I'm just half following <laughs> them. You know, the metal fuel was aluminum compound powder, right? Are you really making all powder grains uniform? I don't even know what that means. Powder grains, powder grains uniform. What? I, I think uniform in this case means like black or something here. Yeah. Oh, Naruhodo, oxidizer and metal fuel. Seriously? Rockets were huge, but it was pretty finicky work. <laughs> Make sure they're all friends, yes. All mixed together, they're all friends. Yes. As one. <laughs> and of course they, they cannot have any bubbles. They cannot play with bubbles. <laughs> Don't you always get bubbles if you make something? Interesting. Mix it in a vacuum so there are no bubbles. Because for bubbles to form, there needs to be air, right? So if you mix it in a vacuum, there won't be any air, so there, there won't be any bubbles. Vacuum? Like in space? Yeah, yeah, basically. The vacuum basically, there's nothing, no air, nothing. Well, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, space is a, an example of vacuum. Of course, there are other types of vacuums, yes. Like machine, yes. Can you go in? If you go in, you'll die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thought so. What's so bad about bubbles? Well, well, I know that if you there are some chemicals where you can absolutely cannot have bubbles because if you have bubbles, then you're like kind of like ruin. You know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like if you have bubbles, you like spoil the 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 ingredients, something. No. <laughs> Uh, well, it makes sense because bubbles contain air, and then you know, yeah, combustion and all that. Well, that would be bad. Just from some bubbles, that is that sensitive. Yeah, 
爆発するんですよ。Oh, yeah, we, we don't want that. Someone should beat the Wima. <laughs> so she, so he grows some balls. Um, <laughs> you can't beat a rocket up. でも、個体推進剤ちゃんは、比較的、優しくて、安全な、いい子なんです。Ah, I see. Solid propellant is the best friend. 普通の気温でしたら、毒を撒き散らしたりしませんし、勝手に爆発することもないです。I guess it makes sense. Because solid doesn't really combust as easily. Yeah. Doesn't like ignite as easily as liquids, you know? Yeah. それに安いし、保管しやすいわね。定期点検もほとんどいらないわ。Cheap and easy to stock it. But if it's cracked, or there are any bubbles in it, it explodes. はい。傷や気泡が入らないだけで爆発しないなんて、とっても安全ですね。Ah, that makes sense. But liquid is like, it's really exposed, so if you get in contact, yeah, that's it. But solid is like, that, it's like there's a barrier around the solid, so it's like, It's harder for, you know, bubbles to enter solid, you know? The necessary conditions were rather steep though. Well, that, well that's the thing about rockets. Okay. I think one of you explained that to me before. それだけのエネルギーを使うから宇宙まで飛ぶってことね爆発するのを怖がってたらロケット開発なんてできないの I'm not afraid of explosions I mean I mean Natsu loves explosions so I should learn from her <笑>だいたい爆発は男のロマンなんじゃなかった Well Well I don't know about that Um I guess maybe But Not really. <laughs> they do. Still, isn't there something they say about love and reality? Hmm. Okay. The threat of death during club activities was rather new to me. Well, I mean, handling rockets itself is really very dangerous. So... Arisa, I think you can use the water to use the water to use the water to use the water to use the water. Okay. Oh, but do you have any water? Let's go and find out. Okay. What's the igniter? Well, as the name suggests, it ignites stuff. It ignites something to, you know, the engine to, to, yeah, to, to make the rocket move, something like that. あんたね、それは英検の勉強で習ったはずよ。Yeah. I forgot again. Oh man. しょうがないわね。簡単に説明するわ。これ見て。言わなくてもわかると思うけど、固体ロケットの簡単な構成図よ。I see. So this is a solid fuel rocket or solid propellant rocket. So we have the igniter in the rocket. Right, and then the propellant is inside the rocket, then the motor casing, the outer layer, then the nozzle, payload rocket motor, okay? This is the rocket motor. The rocket motor is the engine part. Ah, this is the whole engine of the rocket, okay? And then, this is the payload. The rocket is the same. It's just like a single engine. Oh, so this is the thing that will eventually get split from the engine, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there are like rocket launchers where the rocket eventually breaks into parts, you know. Yeah, you know. Max Five では参加者全員が支給される計測機器を乗せることになるわ。高度測定用ね。うん。え？それで点火器があるのはこっち。ロケットモーターの部分。モーターケース。ノズル。え？推進材。添加器ねさすがにこれ見れば添加器がどういう役割なのかわかるわよね Yeah, it causes the thing to move, you know Igniter, it ignites stuff, no? Yeah, sure The igniter makes fire in the propellant Then the gases go out the nozzle, right? Brilliant! <laughs> 大正解なんです Why 
Otherwise, the igniter all the way in front. Now the gases can't go to the nozzle when the propellant's burning. Uh, hmm, good question. But I mean, it has to start from the top, right? You can't like put the igniter near the nozzle, right? Oh. Also, there are end igniters. Igniters at the end. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Alright. This is a way to burn solid propellant starting from here and there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got that. I need to see the rest. Um, and then the ball burner is the one in front there. Can we stop with the crazy vocab? <laughs> well, I just know that, you know, end burner means the back. And ball burner means the front. But this time it is going to go raw from the inside. Your space language is also not allowed. <laughs> the boar, boar. <laughs> yeah, gonna roar. <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> Okay, so an end burner does not have an igniter. But well, we ignite at the end, so there's no igniter inside, so it just ignites at the end. I guess, the combustion surface. Wait, what? It looks like a macaroni? Mm. <laughs> I guess it does, I mean. I can't quite see it, but okay. Okay, but, uh, but an end burner does not have an igniter. Like, it ignites at the end, but it does not have this igniter thing. Yeah. But the ball burner will be where the igniter is in front. There's an igniter in front here. I see. The gases will fly through the center and out the end. Through the center and out the end. Oh. End burner is where the combustion surface is at the end, but ball burner, the combustion surfaces are at the side. In between. So the more propellant you have, the higher the rocket goes, right? Don't you lose propellant by making a hole in the middle? Diet. Okay, but I get what she meant. She meant, uh, basically, like, it's like on a budget. If you're on a budget, then you use this. But you want to build an actual rocket, you should use an end burner. I mean a big one, big rocket. So why are we using a ball burner? Max 5 is all about altitude. I couldn't see a single reason why having less propellant was better. I sure can. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, not with one hand, no way. So trust there will form two hands. That's why the ball burner, right? Because ball burner, there'll be like more. Yeah, there, there is a large ball burner has a larger area of the propellant burning because it's burning at the side. And the sides have a yeah, greater area than an end burner. End burner is just this area, right? Vertically. Yeah, so it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, cross section, so the vertical side, only the vertical side. Okay, because it just burns down from one end. Mm, okay. Isn't the motor casing heat resistant? Mm. But even if it's heat resistant, I mean, it still feel hot, right? So Yeah, very, very hot. Oh, that would be bad if they blow holes into the rocket, that's it. 
spawn. So what do you do? Your guesses are going to touch the casing no matter what. Thermal insulation there that you don't mind getting burned away. Ah, okay. So the thermal insulation will get burned away. But it makes sense, yeah. Where's the room for that? Yep. So Ah, okay. Yeah, because the, the propellant are like on the sides, right? So it protects Yeah. The the motor casing from the gases. Because the gases will be like center. But the propellant will act as the, the protector. But end burner is only a thermal yeah, insulation. Yeah. So, so for ball burner, the propellant not just acts as a fuel, but also acts as the insulation. So it's killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, two users, two in one use. So it's very effective. Okay. Well, safety first, yes. I was transfixed by Ar Arisa's diagram before she drew this. It was as simple and elegant as it could possibly be. I thought it was truly beautiful even though it was only a diagram. Whoa, that's like super cool. Whoever thought of this must be really smart. I finally grew at least a little aware of the fact that we were really making a space rocket. We began making the propellant and time flew by. Most of the work process went down as Natsu had explained. We mixed the oxidizer, the metal fuel, the binder, and the additives. Then cooled them and allowed them to harden. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the additives. Um, oh, I can't like check it here now. But wait, hold on. Ah, uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Additives. Um, used in solid propellants to confer some desirable property on the of the uh, propellant. Okay, for the purpose of testing, but. Burn speed, oxidized metal, aluminum chloride, plus the sizes slow down the hardening. Okay, main casting. Okay, gotcha. That was easiest, easier said than done, though. Without Arisa and Natsu, I wouldn't have known what to do. Me neither. I mean, anyone who's not, who hasn't, or rather, who's new to rockets will be lost, for sure. When the oxidizer and the fuel were mixture, we inserted the core into the bowl which had the same dimensions as the motor casing. We poured the propellant into the mold. The propellant then hardened inside the mold and took it and took its shape. The core helped make sure that there would still be a hole in, the, in its center for the burning process after the propellant had hardened. The liquid propellant gathered around the core and just before the propellant had hardened out, we removed it. It left behind a hole all the way through the propellant. Okay, oh, uh, a big hole there. While we waited for the propeller to harden out entirely, Natsu was gleefully making the igniter. Okay. An electrical signal will ignite a pellet shaped powder charge, apparently. I stood beside her, watching her work with evident fascination. And it's already night. When the propellant had hardened out, Natsu checked it for flaws. I'm impressed you have an X ray here. Oh, X-ray. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we, I don't need the, an explanation for this, but I was just checking now. We don't know what an X-ray is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, this is an X-ray, yeah. Uh, check for this. I guess... I hadn't known my school even had such equipment. Well, I mean... Your school is a rich school, you know. Yeah, yeah the, this academy is rich, you know. Actually, you know, how did... You have to think of it. How did Otoya even end up in this school? I mean, like... I mean, this school is a rocket academy school. Well, there are standard courses. And I guess, you know, standard courses don't teach rockets, right? Standard courses are just, well, standard courses. So that means just the normal curriculum, probably. So... But still, this is a. I would assume the school fees for this academy are pretty expensive. And well, I, 
I guess his father can afford it. Well, I guess also because he's the chairman of the Fisherman Association, so. Shunko, Shunko, この画像をご覧になってくださいな。Natsu was pointing towards the x r a y image of a on her screen. Yeah, sure. Ah, okay. That would be dangerous, yeah. Is this small enough? Hi! Korewa, Fukasa mo nakte chisai kara hair crack u t t e i m a s k e d Ah, so no naka de mo chichai ho na no de h e c h r a na desu. Hair crack is okay, okay? So that means. Kotai sei shin sai chan no kase desu! Nice! Alright, Natsu! Chanka! High five! Natsu and I high five each other, yeah, see? Yeah, high five. Of course, we high five. Alright, Arisa! Okay, you're strict as always, but it, it's cool. My hand sailed through the air without resistance. What a cool girl. Alright. I said that before I could respond. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we, we were taking a break, right? So we went to, yeah, to change back to our casual clothing, casual clothes. Yeah, change back to our casual clothes and we get to see Natsu in this attire again. <laughs> ah. You know, her shoulders really look sexy, to be honest. Of, of course, her cleavage is sexy, of course, of course. Yes. But her, her shoulders look really sexy too, you know. And <laughs> yeah, really, you know. Wow. And I think she actually has the biggest boobies out of all the four girls. Yeah, she definitely has the biggest boobies. Followed by Arisa, followed by Honoka, and then lastly, Kaho. Just, just saying in order, you know. Yeah, but she has really nice shoulders. Yeah. That's who changed out, out of her bio suit and into her casual clothes. I had already changed. Why is that taking a long time? Is it the vending machine right over there? Hmm, in, oh yeah. Hmm, where could she be? Oh. <laughs> okay. Made sense. By the way, Nat, so you and Arisa are close, right? You have known her for a long time? Let me just take another look at her, just to see. Uh. I think she's wearing a bra, right? Yeah. Uh, well, well, uh, basically a strapless bra. Yeah, strapless bra. I was curious. Wait, so you're saying that you and Arisa are childhood friends? Childhood friends, huh? Osanana Jimmy, yes. Osanana Jimmy. Ka. Where did you meet? Oh. So Arisa was your first human friend. I decided not to ask her about non human friends. We don't need to know, yes. <laughs> we, we, we know she, had, she really caught some of the rocket parts, you know, friends. But Arisa is a great below you, right? How did you guys end up meeting? Oh, yeah, she's third year, right? What? <laughs> Wait, don't tell me Arisa flipped your skirt. <laughs> oh. I have done that so much. Ah. Uh, eh. Stay, stay soon, Dana. <laughs> Youth, huh? Stay soon. You know, in before this boy is actually Otoya. Then, you know, when he gets. If I go down Natsu's route, then probably it's like, oh, so the, the, the girl who I always went after is you? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, you know? <laughs> okay. He probably liked you. It was common for kids to bully the people they like. Well, it's, what if it's actually you, Otoya? 
And yeah, no, Natsu was like testing you. But, I didn't talk to you about the class, and I didn't talk to you about the class. Hmm. Doesn't matter if it was a different class or a different school. Everyone likes cute girls. After all, I used to flip the skirt of a girl a grade above mine a lot. Yeah. It's him. It's him, alright. The boy who flipped Natsu's skirt is actually him. <laughs> so they had met before, back in grade school. It's just that they don't remember. <laughs> See what did I tell you? Yeah, totally, yeah. So it is true. They had met before, they, it's just that they don't remember. So it'd be interesting to go down Natsu's route, and then when they find out that they had actually met before that, and that he's the one who flipped her skirt and all. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it definitely tallies. Seeing that, well, Otoya is now also a great below, you know, below Arisa. I mean, below Natsu, you know, so yeah. It is him. They just, they just have forgotten. I'm not saying what he did wasn't bad. Hey, what? No. That's what you did. What you did was bad. My girl had cried a lot too. Ah, I have been such a bad boy. Yeah, you have been such a bad boy towards Natsu. Uh oh. Uh oh, what if? What if? <laughs> oh, Tara finds out that. Wait. Wait, don't tell me I've actually met you before. I met Arisa before? That was Arisa. Even as a kid, she had more balls than most boys. Hmm, okay. Well, from her personality, I can see that. I remember I also had a girl like that in my grade. What if that girl is actually her? So, so, so the thing is, the three of them actually met before, when they were very young, it's just that they don't remember. So the fact that Arisa and Otoya met at the beach, you know, when they first met at the beach, it was all fate. Wait. Or what if, what if Natsu is just trying to be funny? No, doesn't seem like it, no. no. Doesn't seem like Natsu was trying to be funny. Natsu is not the sort to, to lie, you know. I had a vague memory of having my pants put down. Uh oh. And after that, the girl had forced a skirt on me and flipped it. It had been terrorizing. I stopped flipping skirts back then out of sympathy. I hope you're not making this up though. I hope. <laughs> No, but if it's true, it's also it's worse, no? I, I'd rather you make this up. <laughs> Naruhodo. I was absolutely sure that I had been the boy who had flipped Natsu's skirt. Yeah. So we figure it out now. <laughs> Seeing as we all grew up on Amanoshima, having gone to the same grade school was really nothing unusual. So... Arisa should... Well, I mean, they were still kids back then, so maybe they don't like, remember until they talk about it now. If only Arisa is here, hearing us. I decided to say nothing at all about this. You should, it's memories. Otherwise, I was sure that I would have had to pay again for having flipped Natsu's skirt. <laughs> okay, because she saved you. So, what kind of guy was that boy? I knew it was a bad idea to probe, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> Shit. I was treated as an idiot even as a child, I see. I shouldn't have asked. Hi, let's not. Uh, we didn't talk about anything, by the way, uh, Arisa. Yes, nothing, nothing special, you know? <laughs> yes, nothing, nothing special, okay, okay. Right? Yes. Totally nothing special, okay? <laughs> Did she remember what had happened? Um, no, that's not what I meant. No, no, it's fine, thanks. 
I think that if she remembered, she wouldn't connect it to me. I knew it wouldn't, it wouldn't be pretty. Just, you just don't mention it unless Natsu mentions it. I reached for one of the bottles Arisa had bought. Natsu was already drinking. Alright. I learned a lot that day. <laughs> yes, a lot. Okay, so we now start a new week as we come to April 22nd. We stay in April, so... And I think the... Yeah, the what? The... The, the Max 5 is next week. Yeah. And next Monday is actually Showa Day. Yeah, it's basically a public holiday. And that's actually the Golden Week. I remember correctly as well. Yeah. In the morning, my cell phone rang before my alarm clock had a chance to. I had a fair idea who was calling me. We know. I was heavily conflicted over whether to answer the call and lose the battle against sleep after hard fought campaign. Besides, the Japanese were never known to be punctual people. Only crazy showed up on time. Really? <laughs> I thought Japanese are always punctual, most of them. I slid back into a comfortable sleep with such thoughts in mind. Aha! Arisa! It was not meant to be. Hi, you always like this? On this post? <laughs> yes, today is a normal day for you to budget, right? I know that. How did you get it? Mon normal morning. It's a Monday. Really? Are you a burglar? <laughs> Don't be silly, I left it open because it's hot as hell. <laughs> you don't want to talk? You're not, you're not an honest person either. You're definitely worse. Yeah. Not that I wanted to, I'll get ready to so wait a few minutes, okay? Arisa left through the window, just as she had entered. I'm amazed it's light outside at this hour. Arisa made herself tall to catch as much of the sunlight as possible. The morning air was cool and refreshing, so it cleared my head of sleep. I suppressed a yawn. I think he has come to grow... He has come to hate fishing, actually. Fishing is about fighting with the big ones. Of course. Though, though, I've, no, I've mostly just been watching you guys so far. It's cool, I guess, but I want to make something myself. My head hurts from not using my hands. Thank you. Alright. Really? Awesome, now that's got me fired up. Just need to give him something to do, you know? Otoka and Natsu were waiting for us in Exit Mall. Remy was the, with them too. Otoka seemed a bit even so early in the morning. You seem sleepy, Natsu. You, you okay? Natsu wasn't a morning person. She still looked sleepy. Ohayo. Remy looked normal. You don't know? Hmm. ノズルは。あっちは自信ある。さ、頼もしいわ。でも前の学校だと製造して検査して終わりだったから、推進剤に点火するとどうなるか時々言っちゃう。I think you were fine. Alright, meeting again. Alright, meeting again. 
個体精神剤ちゃんのお名前がモノコちゃんに決定しました。<笑> Why the hell did you give the little propeller a name? <笑>モモコ ?What a completely irrelevant point. パチパチ。Alright, パチパチ。Uh, let's, give that, let's give her a round of applause.、Okay. おめでとう。<笑>あのね、ナツ、名前はいいから。推進剤ができたかどうかを話してくれるモモコ、OK。はい、アリサちゃん、はい。個体推進剤モモコちゃんは無事に完成しました。X 線検査でヘアクラークが見つかりましたが、許容範囲内です。OK。変化器は変化器ちゃんも作りましたが、問題が一つ見つかりました。嘘。私もチェックしたけど大丈夫だったわよ。That's a problem with the igniter. 大事なチェック項目を忘れていました。<笑>名前がまだ決まってないんです。What a completely irrelevant point. <笑>そういうことだから各自考えてくること。Um, I guess モノコ ?We need a bit. 仕方ないでしょ。名前があるかないかで夏のモチベーションが違うんだから。Really? I also wasn't having it easy. 次行きたいね。さっき聞いたけど、ほのかちゃん、一応みんなにも説明してくれるはーい。モーターケースは昨日作って、今朝も異常なしだったよ。ノズルも大丈夫っぽい。Okay. So they were the ones that are in charge of the CFRP, the motor casing, and the nozzle. そういうわけで、モーターケース、ノズル、固体推進剤、変化器が完成したわ。So we just need the payload, right? Yeah. この4つの部品を組み合わせてできるのは何シュン。Well, a solid fuel rocket. Solid propeller rocket, right? Yeah. Even I knew that. A rocket motor, yeah, right. <laughs> rocket motor. あ、今日はみんなでロケットモーターを作るわ。OK。まずこれから、ほのかちゃんちの工場にあるモーターケースとノズルを物質まで運ぶわよ。おし、that's gonna be a long walk, right? How are you gonna carry that huge thing? 運搬車。Carrier? What, what carrier? 一緒に見る Uh, oh, it's an original thing. So, oh, it's basically like a vehicle, okay? Like, like a lorry truck, you know? But、like、they call it a carrier. Is there like a big bicycle trailer or something? そんなわけあ、ちょうど来たわ。Oh, wait. Not big bicycle trailer. I guess it's something small, but. Well, you can take a look. Oh, hi, yo! Me, na, s a r a t e r Hey, Osumi, how's it going? The one with the more bit below her right lip. Oh, hi, yo, g o o d i m a s s u m i m a s e n asa hair kuni. Me, no, yo. Watashi wa shigoto nan da kara. Sare yori, hakobu mono wa dekter kashira. Hi, kino, motor case to nozzle ga kansei s h i m a s h i t ね、They actually done too. So, I'm going to do it. 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 Oh, okay. Miss Osumi gave something to Arisa. What, what did she give her? Thank you, Osumi. Miss Osumi was gone again soon after she arrived. Apparently, she had only come to give Arisa something. Arisa, that looks a lot like a car key. It's the key to the carrier, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, a carrier was apparently a real automobile of sorts. It's, a, it's a basically a car. But they call it a carrier and it's an, a game original thing. I need to know how it looks like though. But it's basically a vehicle. Who's gonna drive? Natsu. Oh, Natsu can drive it? Natsu has a license because I saw the, the explanation. You need a license to be able to drive it. Really?
Just don't speed, okay? <laughs> I was very worried. You've got the license, right? Carrier license, not a car license. Yeah, so carrier is like a you know a mini car. Where are we going if it's not on public streets? Well, the footpath. Highways? No, <laughs> silly, no. <laughs> if you can't drive on the streets, how the hell are you? can you drive on the highways? Come on now. <laughs> so that's, that's really hilarious. You can't, uh, you can't remember. Just drop it. So tell me, what are you gonna do here? Oh, that's a rocket carrier road. Interesting. So it's basically like, you know, like those kind of like cyclist paths. Yeah, like, you know, you know, like even bicycles have their own paths. So this is kind of like the same thing. Like, visiting a carrier is like a, like a, you know, PMD, yeah, personal mobility device or the kind of scooters, you know, a road, especially for bicycle scooters and all that. And I mean mini scooter, not the not the motorcycle scooter. Actually, I remember that those existed. Are you talking about that thing where giant trucks drive really slowly with those big containers? So. Actually, I used to wonder why they were driving so slowly. Well, it makes sense actually because if they drive too fast, then they're not even allowed, right? They should be on the roads. Hmm. I wonder what's the speed limit. Probably about 10 to 15 kilometers per hour? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Uh, wait. But, but 10 to 15 would still be very fast. <laughs> so maybe like 5 to 10 kilometers per hour? Actually, not even that. No. We should. I should think of it in meters per second. So maybe like uh, 20 meters per second? Like the about the speed of a bicycle, but slower. I mean, rockets go to space, so they must be pretty solid. Ganjo. Well, of course they are solid. Come on, Otoya. <laughs> then what? Then, then, then... Um, <laughs> no, actually, Kawa, I don't think that's what he meant. Like, they must be pretty solid, like, really hard, firm. I don't think they break from being driven around a little roughly. No. Here's the thing, Otoya, you still need to be very careful with rockets. I mean, if one little bump and then there's a tiny little hole and then the rocket will explode if it gets launched, we cannot have that. Very sensitive. Seven point nine kilometers per second, that's very fast. So So they traveled seven point nine kilometers in a single second. Yes, that's how fast they can go. That's so fast! <laughs> you remember all that? That's the first time I've ever heard of something being so fast. Well, there's something even faster, okay? Yeah. That's called light. <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know how many million light years. <laughs> light is actually the fastest thing in the world. Yeah. The speed is just too high. I can't even imagine it. <laughs> Why do you have to use pilot? As an example. You smash me into a thousand pieces. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Really? I guess supersonic speeds are scary. Yeah, you... you you try traveling at that supersonic speed, you 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 get burned. <laughs> you you get you know you you burn up. You basically be burned because it's like so fast. There's a lot of heat generated, and then you'll be burned in no time. Ah, okay. 
near the surface is lower, that's why you can still see the rocket going up. Otherwise, otherwise the rocket will just disappear in a split second. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we need to be very very careful. A rocket is very sensitive, you know, very delicate material. So the rocket carrier routes are limited to 10 km per hour to make sure that the rocket isn't damaged at all. Oh, 10 km per hour, okay. So I was right when I guessed like uh, 5 to 10 km per hour. Yeah, that's okay. That's actually faster than a bicycle. Yeah, it's, it's faster than bicycle. So you got it, huh? Actually, wait, is it? Uh, all about as fast as a bicycle, yeah. After many years, the mystery was solved. Shunku, hi! Hi! Yes? Natsu tried to draw attention to herself. Perhaps she felt lonely not being a part of our discussion. Yes, what is it? Yeah, it makes sense. What she said was unexpectedly related. Really? Oh, he bought up the land. Well, your father is definitely a rich guy. Your father has nothing but rockets on his mind. And just how rich was he? So we need to get a carrier license of our own. Okay, carrier licenses of our own. Do we normally need something else? Well, basically a carrier driving license. And you don't need one on Amanoshima? Oh, only on school premises. Okay. I remember hearing that you didn't need a license to drive around on your own property. Yeah, that, that makes sense, yeah. So all the roads were his property then. Oh, okay. That makes sense, yes. We need to make sure it doesn't bump into anything. Alright, alright, Ikuzo! I reset turned to Natsu and threw her the keys. Natsu raised both her hands and tried to catch the keys as they sailed towards her. <laughs> hey, don't be sad over not being able to catch the keys. They hit the ground and clattered away deeper into the club room. I was worried about her driving skills. She'll be fine, don't worry, Otoya. 